Okay, it's four o'clock. Um, number one, meeting call to order and roll call. Welcome to City Service. I'm City Councilor Marianne Labarge, Chair, and I'm joined by Ward 2 City Councilor Karen Foster, Ward 1 City Councilor Michael Quinlan, and Ward 7 City Councilor Rachel Miori. This meeting is called to order. Roll call, Laura. Sure. Councilor Labarge. Present. Councilor Foster. She's trying to unmute. I had gotten bounced out, so I don't know if you just oh, called me or not. I just called your name. <laughs> well, great. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Maori. Here. Councilor Quinlan. Here. I would like to announce that this meeting is being audio video recorded. Number three, public comment. Is there any member of the public who would like to address the committee? on any subject. There's no, there's no one here aside from us. Is there, I don't see anything, do you, Laura? Nope. Okay. Being no members of the public present, we have no public comment. Number four, the minutes of the previous meeting, which is the Approval of the minutes of May 10th, 2021 and June 7th, 2021. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? If not, roll call, Laura. Councilor Labarge. Yes. Councilor Foster. Yes. Councilor Maori. Yes. And Councilor Quinlan. Yes. Okay, number five. Items referred to committee, 5A, 21.304, appointments to various committees referred to city council on July 15th, 2021. Council on Aging, Michael Ford, 6 Massasoit Street, Northampton, term July, 2021 through June, 2024, reappointment. I would be willing to accept a motion for reappointment. Move a positive recommendation of reappointment. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to forward Michael Ford to the Council on Aging with a positive recommendation to full city council. Is there any discussion? Roll call, Laura. Councilor Labarge. Yes. Councilor Foster. Yes. Councilor Maori. Yes. And Councilor Quinlan. Yes. A historical commission, and this is to fill a vacancy. Stephen, I'm hoping I say this right, Moga, 89 Marion Street, Northampton, and it's the WMAIA nominee. The term is August 20th through 21 through June 2024, and that's to fill a vacancy as the WMAIA representative. And I want to make sure people understand what those abbreviations are. It's Western Mass American Institute of Architects. So Councilor Quinlan, would you give your report on your conversation of your applicant, Stephen Moga? I will. I actually was, uh, I was thinking about how to pronounce his name as well. So I asked Stephen when we were on the phone and he said, it's Moga like yoga. So that was uh, easy to remember. Right. That we did so. <laughs> Dr. Moga uh, is a professor at Smith and has a doctorate in urban planning from MIT. In his research in city planning, he seeks to understand how people have defined urban problems and how they have articulated a vision of a better city. He moved to Northampton in August of 2014 and then uh, in, sometime in 2015 bought the home on Marion Street that they live in now. So he's been here for uh, just about seven years. Um, he worked for 10 years professionally as a preservation planner before uh, getting involved in education and has quite a bit of public meeting experience. So he feels very comfortable joining a committee like this. Um, he attended a meeting of the Historical uh, Society 
uh, where there was some discussion about the, the future of that. And he met uh, Martha Lyons from the uh, Historical Commission, who was uh, kind enough to suggest that he join this group because she was impressed with what he had to say. Uh, in terms of being the WMAIA representative, he's not an architect, but he does bring forward what that person would bring forward, which is experience with architectural history, and he can consider questions from that lens. Uh, and I think the historical commission is pretty interesting because like Dylan Gaffney is on there and he's more of a local historian. Um, you know, Dr. Jonathan Doby's on there. And again, same thing oh, yeah. with, guy with the historical perspective on things. Uh, and now with this, you have an architectural expert as well. So it's really uh, in a, in a urban planning expert as well. So it's really kind of an interesting, diverse group. And I think Dr. Moga will make a nice addition. So I would move his, uh, you know, submission forward with a positive recommendation. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to forward Stephen Moga as the WMAIA representative to fill a vacancy to the Historical Commission. Is there any discussion? Roll call for Laura. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Foster. Yes. Councillor Maori. Yes. And Councillor Quinlan. Yes. Hey, the motion is unanimous. Trust Fund Committee. And this is to fill a vacancy. Joseph Wilhelm III, 54 Prospect Street, Northampton, term August 2021 through June 2024 to fill a vacancy. And we have um, Councillor Foster, would you give your report on your conversation of your applicant, Joseph Wilhelm III? Yeah, I'd be glad to. We had a great conversation yesterday. Um, and Joseph is um, a retired lawyer and an income tax preparer. And he's um, served as his, um, on the select board in Williamsburg and on the Council of, um, Council of Governments in Hampshire County as well. So he's got a strong background that's pretty relevant to this committee. Um, and you know a, a deep understanding of uh, how many of these processes work. Um, you know he pointed out he he's interested to learn and um, you know to understand more about the trusts that the city is managing and to make sure he's understanding um, you know sort of the, the fine point and the details on that. Um, you know he understands investing, although he's not himself an investor, so he doesn't have any conflicts of interest um, that would come up. Um, and it's pretty cool. He decided to apply um, because I'd sent an email out to Ward 2 listing many of the vacancies um, on city boards and commissions. And he took a look and, and this one is um, just clearly so aligned with his background and interests. Um, and so I was um, glad to see him raise his hand and, and step forward. Um, so I move a positive recommendation of Joseph Wilhelm III. Okay, we have a motion and a second to forward Joseph Wilhelm III to the Trust Fund Committee with a positive recommendation to full city council. Is there any discussion? Roll call, Laura. Is that a second by Councilor Maori? Yes. Okay, very good. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Foster? Yes. Councilor Maori? Yes. And Councilor Quinlan? Yes. Okay, the motion is unanimous. Um, my goodness. Urban Forestry Commission. This is another reappointment. Robert Costell, 44 Washington Avenue, Northampton, term July 2021 through June 2024 reappointment. Councilor Maiori, would you give your report on your compensation of your applicant, uh, Marion? Wait a minute. Uh. Yeah, Mary John, MJ Adams is for the Whiting. Uh, yes, uh, yes, oh, okay. I got that. Got oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, Urban Forestry Commission, which was Robert Postel, um, which is a reappointment. And he's 44 Washington Avenue, Northampton, term July 2021 through June 2024, reappointment. I will be willing to accept the motion for that reappointment. Move a positive recommendation. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to forward Robert Postel to the Urban Forestry Commission with a positive recommendation to full city council. Is there any discussion? Just to say that Robert's really good at bringing in new uh, tree planters and he's very gracious and, and patient in teaching. Uh, he's really a delightful person. 
Okay, roll call, Laura. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Foster. Yes. Councillor Maori. Yes. And Councillor Quinlan. Yes. Motion is unanimous. Now, Widen Street Fund Committee. We have Mary and John, MJ Adams, and I only know her by MJ Adams for years. 60 Norwood Avenue, Florence, term, August 2021 through June 2024 to fill a vacancy. Councilor Mayor, would you give your report on your conversation of your applicant, Mary and John MJ Adams? Well, yeah, I was great. To, it was great to talk with her because I've heard her name. People mentioned her a lot. I guess she's been an active member of our community for a long time. And she, now she's the director of community and economic development in Greenfield. And she has a strong financial background. She was, I think, believe the treasurer for, uh, or did some financial work for First Churches for a long time. And what she told me was she was, um, you know, she was contemplating the housing partnership for a, a place to, to, to volunteer. But, you know, she thinks it's, um, the, the, that would be a little bit too much. It's a little more of an intensive um, appointment. So she was trying to find a way to, to kind of um, use her skills and address affordability issues. And, and I know the Whiting Street Fund um, does a lot of that. So I think it's a great match. She said that she saw, she applied because of um, Councillor Foster's uh, call for applicants. So that's really effective, Councillor Foster. I just, I have one question for you, um, Councillor Foster. Did you call first to, did you list the vacancies? Because my fear is always that the, I'm not sure how, if the website is always exactly up to date. So I don't want to say there's two vacancies and then have, you know, uh -huh. did you call first or did you just, it just worked out? To be, to be honest, I was working on it late at night, so I didn't call first. Yeah. So instead of listing exactly what was available, I provided a link to the website oh. along with a couple of highlighted opportunities that I knew for sure. Oh, that's a good way to do it. I saw like, that. She did have that. Up. Yeah. So good job, Council Foster. Um, one thing that um, MJ brought up that I actually hadn't noticed is <laughs> in the description on the Whiting Street Fund Committee, it's, there's something, you know, there's a line that's pretty offensive. And I think it's just, it's, it's in quotes because I think it was the original mission of the Whiting Street uh, Fund Committee. But I, uh, I'd like to hear how, you know, your suggestions for how we can address changing this, where it says um, the will of the late Whiting Street, where it quotes, the relief and comfort of the worthy poor. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, yeah. So. Um, I, I know that's the mission of the Whiting Street Fund, but I'm hoping that we could change the, that wording and, or I guess we're possibly changing the mission then, but <laughs> I think it needs to be looked at. Is that something that we, you know, is that something, um, well. Well, I think Michael, Councillor Quinlan, you were on that. Yes. Mission, so oh, you right. Talk. Yeah, I'll, I'll just mention that, uh, that there was um, the, the way the money had originally been set up uh, from Mr. Street was that people could apply to ask for it. And he didn't want it going to like um, to use for anything other than helping people like I, the term was was worthy poor. But the term also there was specifics in the will that, that state like it could be used to help you pay your rent so that you wouldn't lose your home. Um, he didn't really want it being used for like a shelter or something like that. He wanted it to keep, you know, people in stability. Um, and I know that when the mayor just, the, uh, Mayor Narquist just changed that, uh, he had to negotiate with the um, arbiters of the will at this point who, you know, Mr. Street died, you know, uh, 130 years ago or something. And so that was quite a negotiation to kind of figure out exactly how the money could be used. Um, but, but that is a, it is a kind of a, it's just one of those things when you read it, it does stick out a little bit as, as uh, kind of a funny phrasing that we probably wouldn't say at this time to describe people. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the committee itself can change their description. I guess yeah, I that's a good, for, for a good, good talk, a question to have with the mayor, actually, I think about that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I remembered yeah. that your connection to Whiting Street and that. Um, so thanks. Thanks, Council. Clinton. Thank you. But yeah, so I I, I fully um, recommend uh, recommend MJ Adams for the Whiting Street Fund Committee. Second. 
Oh, Councillor Labarge, you're muted. Thank you, Councillor Quinlan, for talking about that. Also to Councillor Moyore, for a long, long time, with the, um, the Whiting Fund that we had available, I have actually used that for many residents throughout the city. And it was also for helping them because they could not keep their apartment because either, and this is around the Smith College area at that time, that apparently Smith College was telling people that they were gonna have to leave the apartments because they were renovating and so forth. So they had difficulties money-wise for first rent, second rent, what we're hearing now happening today. And with that whiting fund, I would go with them while they applied for their needs of finding a place to live. And it was very, very helpful. Also, I have also seen people using it to pay their electric bill way wow. back, okay? Awesome. Because financially, you know, they lost their jobs or whatever, and the city did help them with that. So this big significant change now is much different than what it was before. I can say that for a fact. And I think I have to agree with you. I think we need to look at this very, very carefully and look at some of that language in there, because I think we can do a little bit better. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for that. Okay, so there's there's no discussion. We just did it. Roll call, Laura. Councilor Barge. Yes. Councilor Foster. Yes. Councilor Maori. Yeah. And Councilor Quinlan. Yes. Yep. The motion is unanimous. New business, and I know Rachel, you have to leave shortly. Um, our next meeting is on September 7th, 2021 on a Tuesday at 4 o'clock p.m. And I had a lengthy talk with Marilyn Richards, who we all know. She's a great person. And she was very honored to come to city service on September 7th at 4 o'clock. Anyways, we talked quite a bit. And... Marilyn's position is chair of the Northampton Housing Authority Board of Commissioners. And I talked with her about questions that would be answered, okay, from counselors to her. And we are looking at, and I'm asking counselors to please submit all your questions into Laura and I so we can give them to Marilyn Richards ahead of time so that she can see exactly what you are asking for her. And also, um, I think some of the questions that I want to know myself is what is their actual responsibilities? Because I think dealing with the problems in War Three with Walter Savo, the McDonald house down the line, being asked as a city council, because I know a lot of people that live in those homes, of being there because their air conditioners were taken off their yeah. windows and I was livid over that. But anyways, I myself wanna know exactly what the responsibilities are. How far can they go as far as getting what they want to get done the financial part of the job right down the line. And I have to agree with Rachel Muir. I have, and I did question Marilyn about the flower boxes. I mean, the garden boxes. And she said, yeah, there was concerns about that. So she will talk about that, Rachel. So you can ask that big question right there. Okay. Anything you want to ask, just send the questions to both Laura and I, and we'll get them off to Marilyn. And I thank you counselors for that. All right, um, I also would like you to think about who you want to come in for the month of October. And I want you to really think about that because there has been a lot of movement going on in our city and 
I think I don't have to go into details. I heard a lot today after another meeting I had about what is actually the plans for city councilors when it comes to streets, redoing streets over right down the line? Where do we get involved in? So I think that's a good question that I am concerned about because it's every day I am hearing something <laughs> going on about the cherry trees in Northampton, which I've been on site three times now, and I've seen them in blossom and they're beautiful. But he says, she says, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's very confusing. And I think the article in the Gazette, I was shocked to see that also, but I'll go back again this week, take another look again and make my heart feel which way I really feel should be done with that street period. So anyways, um, number seven is adjourn and we need a final motion. Move to adjourn, oh, excuse me. Okay, roll call, Laura. Is there a second or two people said moved? Was it Karen and um, Councilor Maori? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll anyway. second either one. Okay. Um, Councilor, Councilor Labarge. Yes. Councilor Foster. Yes. Councilor Maori. Yes. And Councilor Quinlan. Yes.